Supercross Live on supercrossonline.com. Kevin Barnett down here on track while catching up with RCH's Josh Hill. And Josh, you and I talked a couple weeks ago about your performance and how things have been going. I think it was Minneapolis. And you said, hey, I just have to twist the throttle a little bit more. Seems like you've been doing that the last couple of weeks. Yeah, it's been going good. Minneapolis was good. I got that, that heat win and then uh, had a couple top tens. But then uh, Seattle, I felt really good. I thought it was going to be my best race of the year. And uh, fell down in the heat race and came all the way back up to fourth. And then uh, in the main, again, I just thought I was going for the whole shot and washed the front a little bit and went down. And uh, it took me a really long time to get my bike started. I had some mud stuffed in where the clutch uh, lever is, and it just it had all play. So I, I started like 30 seconds behind last and came back to 12th. So I felt like I rode great, but I just didn't have the, uh, you know, the result that I wanted. Winning that heat race in Minneapolis had to be such a huge confidence boost. Is that sort of validation of where you thought you were in your program? Yeah, that was, I mean, that's, that's where I want to be. I mean, I know that I'm riding really well. I just haven't put it down in a solid 20 lap race yet. You know, I haven't put all the pieces, of the pieces of the puzzle together, a good start and, you know, we're, you know, and, and trying to just focus forward. The one time I got a good start, I was like, oh, what am I doing up here? And was kind of looking behind me and uh, I faded back to eighth. So I think, uh, I think I just got to have a good race and just focus on myself, get a good start. And I, I think I can really be up, you know, knock on the door for a top five. Yeah, often we talk to riders about the internal expectations that are, and some riders start the year, hey, I want to make the main, and then it's, I want to be in top 10, then I want to be in top five. And we've asked you that before. Have, have you raised your expectations then to top five? And that's what a success looks like tonight? Well, I mean, that was where I was wanting to be coming into the season. I didn't really yeah. say it, but that's where I wanted to be. And then, you know, I made it into the top 10 after my injury, and now it's, I just want to get to that, uh, get, you know, just keep working my way forward. I know I can. I've, I've had some top 10 races, and I felt like I never even really rode well. So if I ride the way I know how, I think I can be up front. We're creeping up here on the outdoor season, two races to go in Supercross, and you were a Supercross-only deal with RCH. Do you have anything for outdoors? Do you have a desire to ride outdoors? No, I, I definitely have a desire to keep racing. I don't know if it's going to be the U.S. Nationals or maybe the Australian Nationals. I'm trying to figure it out right now. I just want to keep racing. Uh, I, I think that's where I'm lacking right now is that race experience again. You know, Being out for three years, I feel like I'm riding great, but I haven't been racing good. So I just got to keep, keep the ball rolling and keep racing. You've been getting some other experience. I know on Thursday you're out with my partner Jim Holly filming a, a commercial. And Jim's out there and looking at the jump, and you're out there consulting on the jump. I think Jim was schooling you a little bit, he said, on how to, how to behave in a commercial situation. He was definitely showing me the ropes on how it's on how it's done. You know, he kind of gave me some uh, some really good advice and you know made sure we got out of there safe and sound and and, and had a good jump. So he uh, he was a great mentor on that commercial. Word had it you wanted to hit a 70 foot double and he wanted to reduce it a little bit. He said, "Hey man, I'm 53." You know what? He uh, we just had a guy that I don't know if he really built jumps and he was the guy building the jumps and uh, Jim stepped in and kind of told him what how, you know how to do it, how to make it safe for us and. Uh, it, it was good, you know, we got out of there, it was a pretty fun jump, and uh, I got to see Jim huck it too. Alright, so you had some lines too, so not only did you have to do what you're good at, but then you had to go and expand your horizons a little bit. Can you? How did you prepare for your lines? <laughs> I, I didn't know I was doing lines, I just, uh, I thought I was just riding, and then, uh, yeah, they had a quite a bit of quite a bit of stuff for me to say, so. It wasn't like Seinfeld, like these pretzels are making me thirsty kind of? It was pretty close, <laughs> you know, it was, uh, it was a lot of just one, real quick uh, one-liners, so. Okay, give it to us. No, nah, no, nah, I ain't gonna do that. What? Later. We can't. Nah, you you, you had practice. Wait for it to be edited out right, so I don't look like such a dork. So we'll just wait. You're not getting paid for it. Yeah, yeah. What? See, that's Jim chiming in for my. You're not getting paid right now for it, so don't say it. That's Jim. <laughs> All right, you will be getting paid tonight. Give us your impressions of this track. The track's good. It's a little tight, and uh, the bike's gonna be a little underpowered. You know, being at this altitude, so it's probably gonna be a little tougher than it actually looks. So I just. Uh, it's going to take a lot of momentum. You're going to have to carry a lot of momentum through the corners to be able to get over these obstacles. So it's going to be good. Just got to get a good start and try to win. How about the rocks? We looked at, at all the rocks that are in this. They're not too big, but there are quite a few. Is that hand guard time or nothing for you? I'll see how bad it hurts after practice. I, uh, I'm not trying to switch into hand guards. I'm not a big fan of the look of them, but if, if I have to, I'll throw them on.